there and welcome to my channel. If you like Adobe Illustrator and you'd like to learn how to create illustrations, 3D simulations, and branding, hit that subscribe button and start following me. Let's get started with today's tutorial. We are going to design a 3D pin icon. So start by creating an ellipse, then create a rectangle that covers the top part of the ellipse, and go to Pathfinder Subtract because we only need half. Now use the direct selection tool to select this angle here and round the angle a little bit. Then make a dragged copy and flip vertically using the reflect tool. Now create a rectangle with the rectangle tool that only covers a part of these two ellipses. Uh, unite all through the pathfinder and then create another rectangle and subtract the half of our shape that we do not need. So now we have this shape here. I'm going to use the delete anchor point to delete these extra anchor points that we don't need. And now I'm going to use the rectangle tool again to create the bottom part of our pin. I'm going to make a dragged copy of the rectangle, select both of them, and go to Pathfinder Unite. So now we have these added anchor points. So I'm going to select this bottom left one and move it inwards a little bit. And then using the delete anchor points, I'm going to delete the ones that we don't need. So now we have like half a pin. Unite the two shapes together. I'm going to change the fill to red, stroke to none. And while our shape is selected, go to Effect 3D Revolve. It's going to open the Revolve panel, select Preview. Use this cube, move over this cube around to position the 3D effect the way you want it. Go to more options to fix the lighting. I added a second light here. So you can, uh, so these two dots, each dot represents a light. So you can move each one around to position the light where you want it and you can fix the parameters here. When you're satisfied, click OK. You can apply modifications to your shape even after you've applied the 3D effect. If you don't like the way um, certain parts turned out. Just use the direct selection tool, select the anchor points you want to move and work with and you'll get a, a, a real-time <clears throat> rendering of the modifications you've applied. So now I'm going to use the rectangle tool to create a light gray rectangle. With this rectangle I'm going to create a new symbol. See it was added to the symbol panel. Then I'm going to select the 3D object, go to the appearance panel, double click on 3D revolve, go to map art, and only on the bottom part of the pin I'm going to add this um, gray symbol because I want the bottom part of the pin to be gray. Okay, once I've applied that, I'm going to click OK. Since I want the gray to be darker, I'm going to select the shape that I used to create the symbol. I'm going to change it to a darker gray. That way, when I re-click uh, on the 3D Revolve through the Appearance panel, it's going to automatically update my symbol to the darker gray. I'm going to delete the rectangle that I used to create the symbol because I will no longer be applying modifications to it. Now I'm going to use the ellipse tool with a black fill, no stroke. Right click, arrange, send to back, and then while it's selected, go to Gaussian Blur. I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply, lower the opacity, and then change the gradient from black to white, a gradient that goes from black to white. Higher the opacity a little bit and here is our shadow. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial simple. Please subscribe to my channel and if you have any requests just write a comment. Ciao!